Woke up in the morning, found a letter that she wrote. She says she's tired that I'm always on the road. Too hard to swallow me. Anthony Cornelius Hamilton was born in Charlotte in late January 1971. He started singing in his church's choir at age 10, and he attended South Mecklenburg High School where he sang in its award-winning choir. Anthony was an introvert raised with his brother and sister by a single mother. His father left when he was nine years old. Hamilton found comfort in a foam-covered speaker while dreaming of stardom. He says of that time, I was a child who had a very wide imagination, and I thought I would become the song. I used to listen to Ben by Michael Jackson and dream that one day I'm going to become a famous singer. I said that over and over and over again for years, and I always believed it. As a teenager, Hamilton performed solo at local nightclubs and talent shows. In 1992, while in his early 20s, Anthony met producer Mark Sparks, who encouraged him to leave Charlotte and go to New York City. Anthony made the move and signed with Uptown Records, a major source of the new jack swing sound and home to artists such as Jodeci and Mary J. Blige. By 1995, Uptown was set to push Hamilton's debut album, but the company went out of business, leaving the album unreleased. He moved to Uptown's parent label, MCA, and was finally able to release the debut album, Ecstasy, in 1996. Only one song, Nobody Else, was released as a single. It peaked at number 63 on Billboard's R&B chart. Another transitional period followed. Hamilton joined Soul Life, an upstart venture run by some of his old Charlotte friends. While there, he laid down tracks for another solo album and wrote songs for other artists. In 2000, he accepted an invitation to sing backup vocals on D'Angelo's Voodoo tour and traveled the world. Upon returning home, though, Hamilton discovered that soul life had gone belly up. Anthony Hamilton struggled for the better part of the 90s as two of his albums went unreleased. While he didn't always get the label support his talent deserved, Hamilton established himself during the 2000s as one of the rawest, most singular and relatable voices in R&B. In the end, who knew I didn't know but nothing? I was fronting, truly fronting. Girl, I can't be mad, I really had it coming. Guess if I was half the man I know I am, I would be so good that even Oprah be jealous of you. It's like that. Yeah, Over two like decades that. worth of label changes later, Hamilton good. found his happy place on RCA Records. In 2011, he scored with the Grammy-nominated effort Back to Love, and he hit again with his 2014 Christmas offering, Home for the Holidays. Home for the holidays, you was thinking I'd stay away, stay away. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Can't wait to see you smile and face, baby, I'm on my way. On March 28, 2016, Hamilton performed on NPR's critically acclaimed Tiny Desk Concerts. Then in April, he embarked on a very successful nationwide tour with Fantasia. Anthony Hamilton is the R&B cantor who maintains his Southern sensibility, always remembering his roots in the church choir, the tough times in the 90s, and thankful for his success in the 21st century. For now, there are no boundaries as he continues to tour across the country and around the world. Yeah, get the good time to roll.